It is hot. guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Nadine and welcome back to a brand new video if you're new here welcome and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join my youtube family and if you are a returning subscriber tuning in once again hello hi and welcome back to a brand new video thank you guys for tuning in once again so as you can tell by the title of this video I decided to do a Q&A get to know me type video um, I posted something on my Instagram asking you guys to send in your questions that you'd like to know about me so those that are not following me on instagram make sure you head over there and follow me all the details will be in the description box below and on this video so make sure you follow me on instagram as i do more content over there and i interact with all my followers there but yeah people sent in their questions so i'm going to go through and answer all the questions that you guys sent me and hopefully you guys will get to know me a little bit better or feel like you know me or understand me a little bit better and then i'll continue creating amazing content with you when you guys understand who i am and what i'm about so let's get into it let's start with these questions let me get them up by the way guys it is very 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 hot in here at the moment and i don't know where the sun has come from like all of a sudden the uk the sun is just it's just shining it's been shining for like four days now but let's not complain we've been wanting the sun for the longest time it's here we're just not used to it but we will soon get used to it we just have to sit close to a fan or have a hand fan with us at all times so let's get into these questions so the first question that i have is how old are you so i am 27 years old um i was born on the 5th of december 1993 yeah i'm 27 years old or years of age what do you do for a living so um i am a midwife i work here in the uk um i work um in the nhs at the hospital um so yeah i'm a midwife and i also create content part-time when i'm not working so i would say um for a living at the moment what i get most of my money from is from midwifery from becoming from being a midwife um, and all my content creating I do part-time on the side um, next question is how many languages can you speak so I can speak two languages fluently um, that's English and Kinyawanda um, that's the only two languages I can speak I wish I could speak French fluently I could sit here and lie to you guys that I speak French but I can't like I try my best I've been trying for so many years but I still can't speak French like it's just it's just not it's not mixing with me at the moment but I will learn how to speak French if there's another language that I would love to learn is French that's the that's the only language that I would give my a hundred percent time and learn and that is that language is French Okay, next question. Hold on, quick drink break. So, next question is how many siblings do you have? So, I have two siblings. I have an older brother and a younger sister, so I am the middle child. Yes. Next question is what did you study at uni? So, at uni, I've been to uni twice. So the first time when I went to uni, I studied ODP. And then the second time I went to uni, I studied midwifery. Um, why did I study ODP? I felt like it was just kind of, it was a rush decision. Um, getting into midwifery at the time when I was applying for uni, it was very, very difficult and very competitive to get into midwifery. So I thought if I'm not gonna get into midwifery, I'm just gonna go to uni and do something else. Um, and the only thing that I, decided to do was ODP I did I did that at uni hated it didn't want to practice and I went straight into uh, midwifery and I did that and completed it and that's what I'm doing now next question is what is your favorite color so my favorite color is red I used to like pink when I was younger but i hate pink now like i used to be so obsessed with pink everything was pink my room was pink i had pink clothes i everything was just pink but now my my favorite color is red and i hate pink now i literally i can't wear anything pink 
there's nothing in my room that's pink but yeah my favorite color is red next question is what countries would you like to travel to next um so now that the world is opening up um i would like to travel to so my top three countries that i want to go to is dubai i really want to go to dubai um i want to go somewhere in america maybe miami um and i want to go to greece yes those are my three um top countries that i want to travel to next so the next question is what country are you from so i am from rwanda it's in africa east africa um that's why i speak kinyawanda it's our native language so yeah i'm from rwanda i'm rwandese um yeah 100 percent rwandan and proud yes next question is what did you want to be when you was younger <laughs> this is so funny what i wanted to be when i was younger so i wanted to be a professional dancer when i was young look at look at the difference now to what i'm doing in life but yeah i generally wanted to be a professional dancer i took gcse dance in school um i did um during my a levels i took like extra dance classes when i was doing my a level and it kind of just stopped there when i when i went to uni the dancing kind of stopped even though i was part of like cheerleading um a, a cheerleading team in uni and a dance team in uni but i did that for fun um i only took it seriously in yeah gcse and a level but yeah i wanted to actually be a professional dancer and like i wanted to teach dance i wanted to be backup dancers to like celebrities when they're performing i generally wanted to be a dancer guys yeah next question is what inspired you to start youtube this is a good one um starting youtube what inspired me so i started youtube because of my sister she and i have a joint youtube channel called annie and a make sure you go check that out and subscribe to that channel so my sister was like oh we should do youtube together and she kind of like persuaded me persuaded me to do it and then i started it and i'm literally on youtube all the time um so she inspired me to do youtube and also um the the other thing that inspired me was the fact that i didn't see a lot of rwandan people um on youtube there wasn't that many there's like maybe a handful of rwandan youtubers that i know so i just wanted to put us out there so that people could know and see other rwandan people you know other rwandans can relate to you know myself because i'm rwandan or all the other uh, rwandan um, youtubers so i just thought representation is key so i thought let me do this let me inspire others um but yeah seeing those other rwandan youtubers inspired me because i also was like we need this we need more rwandan influencers content creators youtubers that's because me when i was growing up i didn't see a lot of rwandan influencers or rwandan people on youtube so yeah having the lack of rwandan people on youtube inspired me to continue with youtube as well as my sister who inspired me to start youtube i hope that answered the question but yeah next question is your hair natural or relaxed so my hair is relaxed i relax my hair i did try and go natural but natural just wasn't for me i feel like those that go natural kudos to you guys but i don't have the patience i don't have the time i don't have the energy to look after natural hair i tried and i failed and um natural is not for me so i relax my hair next question is if you can only eat one meal for the rest of your life what would it be if i can eat only eat one meal for the rest of my life would be macaroni cheese barbecue chicken and garlic bread yeah macaroni cheese barbecue chicken wings and garlic bread but those those are amazing okay next question next question is how do you juggle work and youtube this is a good one so with work so i work three days a week um which is long days so eight to eight 12 hour shifts three days a week so on my days off um i create content so i'll be filming editing 
um for youtube so basically i just i just use my days off and days where i don't have anything to do or when i'm not at work to film and edit videos um that's how i juggle the two i just organize my time when i'm off um and when i have work it's just strictly work and when i have days off I focus on YouTube, I focus on filming and editing. Like today when I'm filming, I don't have work, I'm back in work tomorrow. So I use today to film and edit my videos. It's just about organising your time really. Next question is where do you live? So I live in London, the UK. I'm not going to tell you specifically where in London, but I live in London. Um, if you see me around, you see me around. And don't forget to say hey. Okay, next question is, do you have any nicknames? Um, I do. I, I have, I think, two. Two, two nicknames. Um, the first one is Nay, N-A double Y, which was given to me when I was in uni from um, a friend of mine. Um, and then it just kind of stuck. Everyone called me Nay, Nay Nay. Um, but yeah, that's one. Um, another nickname that I have is Nadia. Um, this was given to me by my friends like in secondary school. They used to be like Nadia, Nadia, Nadia. I don't know why they didn't just call me Nadine, but yeah, they used to call me Nadia and some still do call me Nadia. And if they don't call me Nadia, they call me Nay or Nads for short for Nadine. So yeah, I don't know if I said this already, but my name is Nadine. Um, if I hadn't said that already, but yeah, that's my nicknames. So the next name next question is next question is how tall are you? I am I think I'm five 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 four five I think five 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 I think I'm five five yeah I think I'm five five yeah what is your star sign? Um I am a Sagittarius. Why did I have to think about that? I should already know this question yes i'm sagittarius december yes yeah, sagittarius um next question is um favorite rwandan song oh my gosh i have loads of favorite rwandan songs but my absolute favorite i'll give you my top top three so let me just go to the playlist now and show you guys so my favorite one and song, let me just play it for you guys so you can hear it. But yeah, that is my absolute favorite. It's called Ma V by Social Mula. So that is my number one favorite. My second favorite is... love this song absolutely love it so that song was um sung by the ben so the next one that i like is has to be this one hold on let me fast forward it because you guys are not going to know what i'm talking about So that one is called Wara Koze by also Social Mula. I feel like Social Mula does some banging tunes. But those are my three top favourite Rwandan songs that I have right now in my favourite playlist. So moving on swiftly. Hold on one second. Ooh, I feel like this ring light is just not making things any better. But we need to glow. We need to shine in this video. So next question is. Hold on, quick drink break. Okay, next question is favorite artist. Uh, Rihanna and Beyonce, my favorite artist. I feel like Beyonce has always made a tune, and I've liked every single tune that she ever released. There's not one song that she has ever sung, done, released, remixed that I didn't like. Everything just bangs. Like. And I think that goes the same. That's the same with Rihanna. I like I like all her albums. Every single song that she releases bangs. So yeah, those are the, those are my two favorite artists. Next question is, do you have any pets? Um, no, sadly, I don't. 
but as soon as i as soon as i'm able like for example as soon as i'm able to get my own place i will definitely definitely have um a dog i love dogs and i need a dog in my life as soon as possible but i don't have any pets at the moment it's pending in the near future okay next question is do you still love midwifery or being a midwife oh this is a good one this is a good one so um i still like being a midwife um however because i'm newly qualified and i'm on the preceptorship program i'm having to rotate and work in different environments i'm not i'm not you know set in one place um and i'm not confident and experienced yet so until i get to that point where i'm in a certain department and i'm there for a long time and i know what i'm doing i have all my competencies signed i'm not chasing people up for signatures i'm more experienced in my role i think i'll enjoy it a lot more but because i'm not there yet i'm still like oh this things i need to learn i need to chase people for signatures i'm moving to a different department so right now it's a bit mm, i mean I'm, I st I'm still enjoying it like i like the fact that i did midwifery that I became a midwife it was my it was a dream of mine um but i feel like i will enjoy it and love it more um when i know what i'm doing and i'm in the a, a department for a long time rather than rotating and all of that jazz but yeah i hope that answered your question what is your favorite alcoholic drink so i'm a rosé kind of gal so i only drink rosé um unless we're doing shots then we do shots with the people but i just like my rosés or if i'm sipping something and it's like that then i sip that but my favorite so my favorite um alcoholic drink is rosé any kind of rosé that is sweet and fruity rosés that's my kind of alcoholic drink I feel like I went all over the place with that question but yeah you get you get the point you get the gist of that answer all right okay next question is are you in a relationship well this is a juicy one isn't it uh but yeah I am in a relationship um I have a fella a mister I do indeed so yes that's the answer to that question I am in a relationship um, next question is wigs or braids oh in this heat I am a braids girl all day every day but that's a hard question because I like me my wigs and I like me my braids so it's a very very tough question it's a tough it's a tough question um, I like I would, I'm gonna say braid no I'm gonna say wigs because I can change it up and switch it up and it's not gonna be the same all the time and I, and I like changing it up and I like switching it up so I'm gonna say wigs even though I like braids too so that's a hard question that's a very very hard question so I'm just gonna say wigs for now but in this heat I really need my hair to be braided right now okay so next question is do you plan on going back to school hell to the no Hell to the no, no, no. I do not plan on going back to school. I feel like I've been in school all my life and I'm tired of assignments. I'm tired of exams. I'm tired of chasing people up for signatures. I'm tired of the anxiety of waiting for your grades to come up and seeing if you've passed or failed. I am tired of that stress. I don't need that stress in my life again. But as you can tell, guys, I'm so passionate about this because I'm tired. I'm actually tired. But no. I do not want to get back to school anytime soon any anytime soon anyways next question next question is what country is your boyfriend from child you lot are just being nosy now okay so he is from uganda he's ugandan east african like me he's not from the same country as i am but he's from the same area in africa so yeah uganda east africa what is your favorite thing about your career my favorite thing about my career that is a good one favorite thing about my career um it's the women and the family that i look after i feel like 
when you're with a woman and she delivers and you deliver her baby and she's all thankful to you you just see the excitement the love the you know the oh the love that they show you after you've like helped them the baby how they bond so quickly just yeah i feel like that's the best thing about my career just when you when you help a woman when she's in so many so much pain and you deliver her baby you give them you know your all and they are grateful for you to be there for you to help them i feel like that's the best thing about my career just being part of um bringing new life into the world and seeing new life be seeing how new life begins i feel like that's the best part of my of my career definitely okay so what's the next question what is your biggest complaint about your job oh okay more midwifery related questions what is your biggest complaint about my job um i think i just have the one my biggest complaint about my job and i think this goes to everywhere everywhere in the nhs everywhere in the uk is the lack of staff or the sh the the shortness 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 of staff is that english shortness of staff when you go on shift and there's literally not not um enough midwives on shift that they should be uh people either call in sick um they don't have you know they haven't recruited as many um midwives as they should and you're having to do extra jobs you're having to pick up you know from people that are not in because they haven't covered that shift in time stuff like that just when you're short staffed and you're having to do a lot more than you needed to do basically that's the only thing that i can complain about my job okay next question is what motivates you to work hard uh, what motivates me to work hard is um where i've come from like we we had a difficult beginning in life i should say like i not my parents but us kids me and my siblings had a very difficult beginning in life um we came here when we were young um the struggle was real the struggle was very very real um and the struggle of my parents and what they had to do for us to have the things we want in life and how and how they struggled for where we are now i feel like that motivates me to work hard because i just want to give so much back to them and i don't want to be like a bum and they have literally worked so hard in life i can't just be sitting on my ass at home and not be motivated and being not successful i have to also put my best foot forward and succeed in life because my parents didn't come here to struggle for um their kids to just not succeed or work hard in life so yeah that is my biggest motivation in life to work hard just where we've where we come from my parents and how they've struggled and wanting a better future for us as a family um and yeah a better future for us all that's why i work hard next question is what is your favorite movie i have two favorite movies uh titanic and all the harry potters all the harry potters um if i had to pick one of the harry potters it will have to be harry potter and the goblet of fire so titanic and harry potter of the goblet of fire next question is what is your proudest accomplishment so my proudest accomplishment is finishing uni yeah finishing uni and getting my degree because midwifery has been a dream of mine for a very very long time and actually accomplishing it and completing my degree and actually working as a midwife is my biggest accomplishment so far in life so yeah finishing my degree okay next question is if you could go back in time and really relive a time in the past where would you go back to um if i had to go back in time and relive a time in okay um starting uni um i feel like when i went to uni i lived my absolute best life in uni so i would 100 percent go back to uni when i started uni because uni was a vibe it was it was just a whole vibe if i could do it again i would minus you know all the stress and exams and all of that just how you know the people i met the places i lived the experiences i experienced 
the jobs that I did the yeah it was just a whole vibe so I would go back to starting uni um what what do you do oh okay what do you do when you're not working or filming editing or creating content when I'm not working filming editing or creating content I am sleeping yes yes and I, I, I sleep when I'm not doing anything that has to do with work creating content or editing I sleep a lot when I have nothing else to do or um, I go to my friend's house I see my friends I see the mister I go to events I go to dinner I go to brunch but yeah I socialize if I'm not doing anything else to do with work or content I sleep or I'm out and about socializing so the last and final question is best memories so far best memories so far so I have two best memories so far. First one is when my brother got married. That was an amazing experience. The best, best, best memories, memory that I have so far. The second one is when we went to an all girls trip to Afro Nation. That was a year to remember. It was a vibe. Afro Nation and my brother's wedding those two experiences were hands down the best memories that i have to date at the moment so yeah that is it for the questions that is, that's all that i have for today i hope you guys have enjoyed it and you know feel like you got to know me a little bit better uh please comment below if you have any answers to these questions i would like to know a little bit about you guys um also give this video a thumbs up so that more people can see it it can reach more people and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye